Miss you guys. So today's video is gonna be like an everyday makeup routine. Um, partly like vlog style though, because I want to take you guys with me to go to Starbucks because I'm craving coffee and we don't have any coffee in the house. I'm gonna put on some sunscreen real quick and then we're gonna get in the car and head to Starbucks. All right, and you guys are coming with me. This is my coffee outfit, these slides are from Shein. My sweats are from H&M and then this Harley Davidson vintage tee is um, my cousin Brienne. She gave it to me. This is literally just coffee and I want to be comfortable so. Coffee run, fit, check, coffee run, fit, check. Nice, let's go. <laughs> Now that I made it home, um, I'm going to begin my makeup. And this is literally just my everyday makeup. When I do my makeup, because I don't wear makeup every day, I like to give my skin time to breathe. I don't always do my makeup, but when I do do my makeup, this is the makeup routine that you guys will be seeing. I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get on into the video. I'm also going to need more than one clip because my bangs now are a little bit stubborn. I'm just going to use these like little clippy things that I got from Amazon as well. And I clip one back. And I clip the other back. Lots of clips. Clippy clips. I got both of these clips off of Amazon. I got this clip off of Amazon as well that came in a pack of four. The clips that I got were these ones. And then this one in my hair right now. I don't know if you guys can see the color of it. And then I also got a black one, but that one's in my car. I always leave that one in my car just so that I have it with me in case I need something to put my hair up real fast. Let's get into the makeup now. So first thing I'm going to do is wet my sponge. That's the first thing that I think anyone really does besides like skincare. But I already did my skincare. And then I also went in with a sunscreen. I feel like depending on your skin and also the weather uh because if it's really hot out and it's like a summer day it's super hot you're sweating a lot you're gonna need like a pretty good primer but also you have to consider if you have dry skin if you have combination skin or if you have very oily skin as well with that being said i am using the milk makeup hydro grip setting primer since it is summertime and it's really really hot out i want to make sure that my makeup sticks to my skin and doesn't go anywhere even if i sweat i'm gonna do one whole pump that's all you need. You don't need too much because it gets your skin very tacky. And so you put it right here. I put it in my T-zone area. A little bit right here. Right here. Sometimes try to avoid putting too much on my nose because I've noticed that if I put a lot on my nose, my makeup starts to separate. I don't know if that's because of my primers that I use or... If it's because of the makeup that I'm using, I haven't really figured that out yet. So I kind of just like dab it onto my nose. But my skin literally feels so tacky. But that's a good thing because it's going to allow your makeup to stick and last on your skin for a very long time. Especially if you're in hot weather where it can melt off your skin. My eyebrows are next. And with my eyebrows, I am going to be using the wet and wild ultimate brow retractable brow pencil in the shade ash brown y'all i really am a beauty guru by the way i do my eyebrows like so carelessly because i carve out my eyebrows i hate doing my eyebrows like i literally hate it so much i don't know why but i really do eyebrows are my least favorite part of my whole makeup routine Next, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel, Tinted Brow Gel, sorry. Don't worry, I know how crazy and horrible this looks right now, but it will come together. I just do my brows in like the worst possible way. 
but I truly just hate doing my eyebrows. Like, that looks like shit right now. I know. I am fully aware that this looks like complete shit. I look like f blocks. They look like blocks. But it's okay. Trust the process. And we're going to very, very quickly carve out my eyebrow because I just want to have a much cleaner look. Okay, brows are done. Now I'm going to be putting on my CC cream, the e.l.f. CC cream that I use to carve out my eyebrows too. Um, I love e.l.f. products, honestly. They're so nice. Very affordable. My favorite part of the makeup process is 100% the face, like putting on my foundation, then my concealer, then my contour, making the skin look so beautiful and seamless. Oh, it's amazing. I love it. And yes, I know it's like not my shade. Then my the for my forehead. It matches my neck and my cheeks. I, obviously it's because like the sun hits that area more, but like Are you kidding me? Now that I finished that, I'm going to start my contour and I do this before my concealer because I want it to blend into my face. I'm going to cream contour right now because I like the way that my skin looks when I contour first, cream contour first, and then I go in with a concealer to kind of like blend everything together. With contour, I use a very dense brush and then when you buff it into your skin, I go outwards. I never pull it in. I just go like this. There's always like weird noises that I hear throughout my house. And I know it's because my house is super old. It's like freaky. It freaks me out. Blend your contour into your forehead if you have a big ass forehead like me. Now that the contour is blended out, I'm going to go in with concealer. And I'm going to use my Holy Grail shape tape. And I actually do my concealer a little bit different now because of TikTok. I hate to say it. I hate to say it. But... I learned something from TikTok. I used to do my makeup where I put my concealer in like an upside down triangle where it was just like like a hell of concealer. My makeup didn't look good because of it. Because there was just too much. There was just too much to go off of. I'm going to use cream contour on my eyelids now with this Morphe um, M173 brush. It's really nice. It's like a little compact brush. It kind of scares me setting my under eyes and using like powder on my face if I haven't finished doing my creams. I know you can still use creams, but I just don't even know how to do that. So I'm not even going to try yet until I learn how to do it because I don't want to mess up my makeup. There have been so many things that have been happening in my life since my last video and the thrift with me video, but I'm in a much more like healthy mindset, I would say. Um, now, even during that video, I was in a healthy mindset, but it has grown a lot since then. But I also think that that has a lot to do with what you're, you know, putting into your life every day. Like, if you're using a lot of technology, if you're going on a lot of social media, then you can kind of get, like, overwhelmed. But yeah, there's been a lot of things that have changed since my last video. I am basically almost done with college. I have one class left to take in the semester and then I'm graduating. Also, I'm going in with bronzer now. Um, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I got this from Nordstrom Rack like a long time ago and it has still, I haven't even hit pan and I use this every time I do my makeup. I don't, it smells amazing to you. I like chocolate. And then I'm using the Morphe M527 brush. I'm also in a relationship, which is amazing. I'm in a very healthy relationship. Um, which I love and working out and being active um, is something that I really miss and I wasn't really doing during COVID because it was something that I didn't want to do but that's fine that was just wasn't part of my life then but it is now so life changes very fast and you kind of just have to hold on and embrace the ride and enjoy the journey and I'm also just really spending quality time with my family and my loved ones which is nice so now that I'm done with my life update I'm going to be going in with blush and my absolute favorite blush in the whole entire world is the blush palette the 8w warm master from um, morphe and it has like eight different blushes all different color ranges 
this right here has been like my go-to this summer it's like a coral really beautiful shade this one right here and i love mixing these two to create like a brownish tan mauve i shouldn't say brown actually because these aren't really browns they're more like tan beige mauve colors so i mix these two together and then sometimes i dab in this one a little bit if i want like a warmer toned blush and then these three at the top these ones right here one two three these are like shimmer blushes which i like occasionally but sometimes if i want to keep it matte i won't use a shimmer blush um but i'm not going to use a shimmer blush i'm just going to use these three this one this one and then this one so i'm just going to dab in those a little bit and then start right here like the apples of my cheeks and then bring it up like so just kind of dab oh i love blush it looks so pretty it looks like a little strawberry kiss okay so now that i'm done with this i want to put some highlight on but not just any highlight this is like the good good shit i'm using the jacqueline cosmetics luminous powder in the shade do me dab in it a little bit and then put this right here this is a very pretty like powder and this isn't as bright and as beamy as a normal highlighter would but i that's like the purpose of this product is to like give you a subtle glow from within okay next up we're going to be doing um winged eyeshadow liner it looks so pretty it literally just brings natural elements to your makeup look that kind of just makes everything look like put together i finally finished it it actually took me so much longer than i expected but i have to blend out like the little concealer area because i haven't done that yet okay now that i'm done with that i'm going to go in with my charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder in the shade fair one and i've hit pan because it's my favorite favorite powder ever um this is really good because it completely like diminishes the look of like your pores and not saying that pores are a bad thing but pores in certain areas for me personally i don't want my pores to be shown a lot it makes my makeup look a lot more flawless and seamless and that's what i love about this powder And I put this a little bit on my forehead, my nose a little bit, my chin. And voila! We are done with that part. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with mascara. doesn't matter what mascara you use, honestly. Like, whatever works for you. I'm not going to wear lashes because this is a very natural, like, everyday type of look. And I do use an eyelash curler because... I have straight lashes that go straight out like jumping at you so I have to use an eyelash curler and I also have to use waterproof mascara because that's the only way my curl will hold I'm using the L'Oreal telescopic mascara and waterproof oh my god it's so amazing look how small this spoolie is Can you see that hold on a second I'll show you my lash in a sec. Wow. This looks so good. Things that I have grown to appreciate, I would say, is fashion. Um, during COVID times, fashion, of course family, that's not even a question, but like materialistic, I think, would be fashion, makeup, and movies i am a sucker for movies especially harry potter it's my favorite movie series and movie of all time okay so these are my lashes this one i like because it like fans out your lashes really nicely i'm going to put on another coat of mascara because i want it to look like a little bit thicker now and full because the telescopic one was really good at lengthening them and kind of like separating them out but now i want to like make them 
look a little bit more dramatic on the ends at least. So I'm going to use the Lancome Hypnos Drama Mascara. This one's really, really good for thickening your lashes. See what that little bit of like thick black mascara can just do to a look? Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's like a model look. Oh. Also, something that I forgot to mention in my video when doing my brows is this brow product that I absolutely love. It's just kind of a little bit dark for my eyebrows right now. Um, it's called the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen in the shade Ash Brown. Actually, it kind of is my shade. <laughs> what was I thinking? Do you see that? Like... It gives you that like faux eyebrow hair stroke look and it looks so good like it makes your eyebrows look more full Okay, so I have a lot of lip liners to choose from And they're basically all just like a bunch of freaking nudes Who needs that many? I do. The lip liner that I'm going to be using today is the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Free Spirit It's one of my favorite favorite but many nudes man this little hand method really works no wonder why so many people do it ta-da i love this lip liner and it's nice and light too it's not like a a dark lip liner um i don't want like a dark lip liner make look isn't really dark it's like a nice fresh dewy summertime makeup look you gotta add a gloss any gloss is fine but i'm using the um soap and glory sexy mother pucker <laughs> oh my god how funny in the shade bare enough i am done with my makeup Yay! usually i would use the Too faced lip injection thing to make my lips plump but this one makes your lips plump too so this one's a good one too the one that i used okay now it's time for hair i'm just gonna straighten it because anything else just takes way too long because i have so much hair all right, this is my finished makeup look, but this is basically what I do every single time I do my makeup now. I just do like a little eyeshadow wing with some heavier mascara on the tips, like the very ends of my waterline with like a pink, peachy, like corally nude lip, kind of. It's like a mixture of all of those things with a peachy coral blush as well, just because I like those colors on my skin during summertime. It's really vibrant and it's just fun. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys want to see next. And I will see you guys soon with more videos. Bye guys and stay safe.